Right, what is going on guys? Welcome to episode numero two of our Road to... No, not Road to... Saving for Silver, where I will be trying to save up for Inform Tiago Silver. I said last episode that I might only be getting the uh, normal Tiago Silver because he's expensive as it is. But I've found out I'm a fucking natural at this trading shit, man. So it was definitely going to be Inform Silver now. I mean... I thought silver was around 100,000 coins, don't ask me why. I'm out of date with shit like that. But he is actually only going for around 60,000 coins. And to be quite frank, I could get that in about a day from now on. As you can see, I'm on 27,000 coins. And I'm going to run you through the highlights of who I've bought. This isn't everyone because I trade mainly on the web app because I know I've said it a million times before. But I do not get a lot of Xbox time, so I have to do a lot of the trading on the web. But I'll show you the highlights of the stuff and I'll tell you what I've done to get the rest of the money. Right, first off, we've got Jake Livermore. CDM in 41212. I actually picked him up for 1,500 coins, which was an absolute steal. I feel sorry for the poor sucker that stuck him up for 150 start now. But that's what you do when you don't do your research and you just can't be bothered looking into it. So I ended up making around a 7,000 coin profit from one player there, which is incredibly insane for a bronze. And then the rest of these Livermores I pick up for around 500 coins maximum because unless they're in 41212 or 442, they don't go for any more than around 2,000 at most times in the day. So I ended up getting around 1,000, 1,000 half coin profit for that. And then Herd, he's another one. If he's not 41212 or 442, he won't sell for much more than around 1,000. So make sure you check the formations of these players before you buy them. Because if you pick them up for around 500 coins, then you'll definitely make a profit. But if he's 422, four, or no, 442, then pick him up for around 1,000 coins, you're still going to make easy profit. Again there, just picked him up for around 500. And this was my first in form. I picked him up for around 20,000 coins and sold him for 25,000 coins. I'll tell you what I do next episode to buy these in forms and what to look out for. You've probably seen it in other videos, but I'm going to tell you my tactic because I've not seen it done before. Well, that probably has because that's probably where I got it from subconsciously. I just can't remember. But moving on, moving on. We've got this guy, 433 again. He's only worth around 800 coins, not in a decent formation. But I picked him up for around 400 coins and he has actually sold for 1,500, which is a complete steal. And then I said this last episode, Mikkel, uh, he was my one to buy from the last year, uh, last episode. I've made around two grand profit from him. Again, I've made about the same. I picked him up for around 800 coins, I believe, this one. Sold him for 2,800, decent. This guy, 41212, right mid. Make sure your uh, the formation on the card utilizes the position. So, for example, if you have a centre mid at 41212, he won't sell for as much because there's no centre mid in 41212. So, just keep that in mind as well. But I picked this guy up for around 25,000 coin, made a 4k profit from that. And then I sold a load of these Amos's or whatever they're called. Pick them up for around 200 coins. They're pretty easy to pick hold of because they're goalkeepers. So, I think no one goes for them as much. You can easily sell them on for 1.5k each. Then we've got this guy, Duffy. This is just an example of uh, someone you can pick up for around 200 coins and quadruple your money. Again, Mikkel, that is the same one from last episode. Livermore again, again, 400 coins. Then this is the other legitimate tech, or the tactic I went through the other day. So type in silver, uh, max, no, mi yeah, maximum bid, 250 or 300 coins, and you just skim through them all. And the ones that are in good formations and decent like pay stats or decent... Um, leagues and countries and shit like that then you just bid 254 and if you win it you win it if you don't then well you're not really missing out on much but you can sometimes pick up deals like this where they end up going for around 2k so keep that in mind guys also Mikhail again another massive profit there picked him up for 500 coins ended up going for 2.5k this random guy he was another 250 uh, silver player then this guy I can't remember how much I paid for him but I don't think it was too much because I didn't know how much he was going to go for with his uh, up stats, he could have been shit. That might have been a plus 10 stat and the rest of the stats are shit. But I'm not sure. But he ended up did selling for around 1,200. It's a decent, decent profit, I think. I might have actually made a loss, but I doubt it. Anyway, uh, Amos, another 2,000. Another 2,000. See, easy money with these Premier League bronzes. Then we picked up an Everton for around 14,000, I think it was. So that's about 2.5k minus profit there. And then Herds again. These are just examples of how... He uh, doesn't go for that much when he's in a bad formation. Well, that's not a bad formation, but you can just imagine what he's like in a bad formation. Then we've got these guys. I picked up a Jake Livermore in a strike position for around... I uh, can't remember how much it was. I think it was around a grand. He was the only one on the market, so I thought, well, oh, he must be worth more than that as a striker if he is the only one. So make sure you pick him up and test him out, and you'll be the only person on the team with a striker Livermore. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Then we have picked him up for around a thousand coins. He's four, three, three Livermore. Should sell for around four and a half k. That's the uh, average price when it comes to uh, peak times. So I stuck him up for. Oh no, I stuck him up for six hours, but I'll stick him up for uh, another six hours probably once he has expired. Then heard again, picked up for uh, two hundred coins. Is it? Let's check. Yep, two hundred coins there. So easy p, easy p. By p, I mean coins. 
And um, uh, that was a stupid thing to say. It threw me off track. But we picked up this Everton for 14,750. Yep, 14,750. Should sell for 18k. That's 3k profit. This guy, 15k. Should sell for 18 or 20k. Hopefully, hopefully, that'll be a nice, nice profit. And then I'll just run you through my watch list at the moment. Who I've picked up. Who I might buy. We got Herd, 200. This guy, 150. And then this is just an example of all the 250. Sometimes I splash out 300, depending on whether I think they'll sell. Like 85 pay should sell. And he is in the Champions League Championship, so he should sell. And I picked up a Jenkinson for 400 coins. That was a bit of a leap in the dark, because I don't know how much he actually goes for. Hopefully he sells for more than that. His de uh, formation is decent, so he should do. That Oh, no, no. That was different. Different Dempsey, but this guy I wish I could pick up right now. 18 minutes left, and he's going for an absolute fucking steal. If only I had the coins. If one of my players sold, then I would snatch him up straight away because I could easily sell him on tonight for around 48, 49 thousand coins, especially in that formation. Anyway, guys, that has been today's saving for silver. I hope you enjoyed it. I've tried actually shouting in the episode because someone commented saying I'm a bit quiet in the last ones. That was because my parents are in. So if you I've probably overcompensated and shouted too loud. So tell me what you think. Leave some constructive criticism. Thank you for taking time out of the day to watch me and listen to me talk about trading and shit. So until next time, my good pals, I shall see you later. Also, follow me on Twitter at FIFA videos for you. Link in the description below.